Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Get Sage. As you have seen in the intro, today we are going to talk about the collapsing buildings of India and what things you should keep in mind when starting to construct your own home. To talk on this specific subject, we have our guest of honor and our in-house experts on these topics, Mr. IS Chauhan. He is an alumni of NIT Raoul Kela. He has done his bachelor's in civil engineering and master's in structural engineering. Let's talk to him and get his initial thoughts on this subject and welcome him to our channel. Hello everyone. Thank you for inviting me. Today I am going to talk about a very crucial topic which we encounter every day in our lives. You might have seen small cracks and crevices in wall and roof of our house. You get it repaired through contractor uh, by filling of POP or paint jobs. It may be sometimes dangerous. In case of even a small earthquake, it may lead to collapse of a building and pose danger to our life. Now I am going to tell you a secret that no contractor, architect or even engineer will ever tell you. A small error while laying the foundation or column of a building may lead to crack in the wall or in the roof which may look like defect in the paint or defect in the plaster. We call a contractor or architect for this problem. They hide the visible cracks. In future, it may cause even worse problem. Cause in reality, structural instability is the real problem. That is some great information that everyone should keep in mind at all times. And I am really excited to what all is upcoming in this video now. And I am sure till the end of this video, you will become a master in building your own house or getting your house constructed. Now, let's see what all do we have in this video. And let's ask Mr. I.S. Chauhan what all he is going to tell us about in this video. Okay, in the start, I will tell you all about main components of a stable building and how the loads are shared by the walls and column and transferred to the foundation of the building. Then I will provide you an easy calculator to calculate the sizes of the foundations. Thereafter, I will showcase a structural drawing and design of a building. And also in the end, we have a bonus surprise content for you all. You see, building is constructed from bottom to top, but it is analyzed from top to bottom. Essentially, in buildings, you need a floor that is to be surrounded by walls and covered with the roof. Beam, column and foundation are what they support these components. Like balls of a skeleton, essentially made of concrete and strengthened by steel. A structural part of the floor or roof is concrete slab, popularly known as lintel, that is to be surrounded by beams, which connects the supporting columns and makes the three-dimensional stable frame. Columns are anchored in foundations. All components make integral parts of the structure and they should be sound enough. I emphasize the role of the foundation and without which the load would be uneven and Uneven load distribution leads to structure crack like we fall or sleep during walk or running and get injured. Now we will talk all about how the load is being shared by wall or columns and being transferred to the ground. The ground, earth, the mother of all has certain capacity to bear the pressure depending upon the type of the soil. Our foundation size plays vital role in distributing and reducing pressure to the ground, avoiding collapse of a building and failure. Share of load on the column foundation depends upon its position in building and distance from other columns. It may be a corner column, column on edges or internal column. A corner column has the least load and the column on edge has the higher load and the internal column is the highest load. 
the sizes of the foundation needs to be designed separately depending on the position in the building the foundation of the corner column needs not to be very heavy but internal column needs to be heavy that's great but how can a common man who doesn't know all the technicalities find out what should be the ideal foundation size of a column for that i have created a very easy calculator which is freely available online i will provide a link in the description as well as on the screen okay now i will show you how to use our easy calculator just go on to the link provided www.bit.ly/footingcalc or just go to my website www.ischokar.weebly.com and click on foundation calculator window will appear on screen now fill the form field provided on the screen distance of left column in meters distance of right column in meters distance of front column in meters distance of rear column in meters if you don't have the columns in particular side put it to zero and number of floors including steel click the submit button you will get the size of the footing for bearing capacity of soil 10 ton per meter square hope you like it now i am showing you typical drawings of a sample buildings you can see on the screen foundation plan these darken rectangles are the columns these are the brick walls and these are the foundation lines next this is roof framing plan beams are connecting to the darken rectangles so they are the columns and these lines are the reinforcement provided in slabs this is the column schedule reinforcement provided at each floor for the columns this is the typical foundation sections columns anchored right from the footing and this is the foundation plan beneath now it is the time for bonus content if you are raising additional for on your existing building you need to know whether it has the columns or beams or not in case you don't have the columns and beams you need to introduce the beams and columns right from the ground below in case you have the columns and beams still you need to know whether they have the capacity to bear the load of additional floors you need to contact the competent structure engineer he will only analyze and design the building based on the capacity of their component using the advanced computer software thank you so much for the valuable information that you have given us today i would like to thank on the behalf of all my subscribers and viewers for coming to this show and sharing all those tips and tricks that we need to keep in mind while constructing our home and if you all like this video or even like the content or the topic of this video do comment below and let us know if we should make more videos related to this thank you so much for viewing like this video and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from get saged